Eleven months of the year, the pine and fir tree lives a relatively quiet and uneventful life. They spread their seeds, and as any good parents watch them grow into strong, healthy adults, they live their lives as homes for birds, bugs, and sometimes even dirty hippies. But there comes a time in every tree's life where their lives are turned upside down. This time is called Christmas, where bloodthirsty humans of all ages come to the tree's forest homes and slash and cut them down and do things to them which would make one sick. This is a story of one of those trees, a survivor. But for how long? Uh, my name is Douglas, uh, Douglas Fur. Um, I I've lived in these forests for almost 37 years now, and I've seen my fair share of harvests. Um, I remember the first harvest where my father was taken from me. It seems like only yesterday. 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 Now, Douglas, make sure you drink plenty of water as to keep your needles sharp. Oh, yes, Father. How I like to drink. But tell me, Father, why am I so small? Oh, Douglas, time, young lad. Time is what it will take. One day you will grow up to be the greatest tree in our forest, I am sure of that. But now, the sun is at its peak. Time for us to feast, young lad. We sat and ate for hours, soaking up that sun. It would be the last meal we ever ate together. As the sun set, that's when they came. Dad, what's that noise? My God, son. It has begun. Quickly, son, shed your needles as much as you can. Hurry now. But why, Father? Uh, don't ask me any questions, boy. Just do as you're told. My father knew that noise, and I could see it terrified him. And as the humans drew closer, the smell of sap followed them. It smelt like the sap of a hundred trees. They weaved around a giant mechanical knife and were singing songs and laughing maniacally. <laughs> Before I knew it, they were upon us. <laughs> Young Douglas, this is my time. He never looked more beautiful, so green and full of life. At that moment, he was the greatest tree in our forest. Father! Right then, the young human spoke. Daddy, this one. Oh, that's a good one, boy. Good job. Yay! The alpha human with the giant mechanical knife approached my father, looked him up and down, and lunged his giant sword into the side of his belly. Pieces of my father were flying everywhere as the humans laughed and rejoiced at the mutilation of him. And then he fell. No more life left in him. He just laid there, motionless. I screamed as loud as I could, but it seemed as though the humans could not hear me. They dragged him away, leaving a trail of fresh sap behind him. They tied him to the roof of their automobile and drove off, leaving me alone in the forest. That was 37 years ago. Now as the sun sets on this day, the sap is fresh in the air once again. And I hear those familiar songs of the humans sing as they prepare for the slaughter. My father was right. One day I would be the king of the forest. And that day is today.